Bobby Waterman Jackson. Today we're going to talk about expansion tanks. Expansion tanks. What is it? What's it there for? All right. So I brought an example home. Get out the trusty blade. Amtrol. That's my go-to brand. So expansion tank. Basically, it's a little tank that goes in front of your water heater. And it acts like a cushion as your hot water expands. Well, that expansion has got to go somewhere. Ergo, expansion tank. Let me put the blade down for a cut something. All right, so here's what it looks like, live and in person. Voila, expansion tank. Now these come pre-charged from the factory at a set uh, pressure. Nice little picture on the side. And you screw this little thing off. And you see a little Schrader valve. This is how you can change up or down the pressure in this expansion tank. Now, ideally, it should be whatever uh, your pressure is for your system. That's what this expansion tank is supposed to be at. But I sell plumbing supplies for the last 20 plus years and no plumber I know actually does this. They never, they just take it out of the box, put it, put it in the line, off they go. They don't ever match the pressure of the system. All right, so here let's go to our handy dandy screen so you know what expansion tank you're supposed to have for sizing. For a domestic system, and when I'm talking domestic system, that means you're drinking water. That's your domestic. Um, it's supposed to be whatever your supply pressure is at. That's the incoming pressure from your water main versus the size of your water heater. So most every house, residential house in the world, America, American, let's just say America, is going to be... A in the 40 to 50 gallon range so uh, in standard street pressures your your results may vary it's going to be 60 uh, on the high side 50 um, but it could be 70 pounds um, mm -hmm. so you just use your little chart to figure out what um, what uh, size you need. Um, five is the most standard out there. Uh, like I said, Antrol is my go-to brand. So an ST5 is going to be your normal everyday uh, garden variety. Everybody and their cousin, it seems like, makes an expansion tank in my world. Uh, so Watts, uh, Antrol, State, um, uh, Zilmet, um, there's even some private labels out there made in Chinese, China, uh, for the, some of the bigger box um, brand stores. Um, and that's, it's, it's just this little steel tank, and inside of it is a bladder. Um, so that's your cushion. So on one side there's water, one side there's air. So you use that Schrader valve to match your pressure. Now, why are they needed these days? Uh, water heaters used to be m fairly large, um, so they were made in such a way that um, there was extra volume in the t in the top of the tank for that um, expansion. Um, but as the price of steel went up, um, they started making things a little bit uh, tighter tolerances, so. That little bit of cush went away so there was still a need for 
to take care of the expansion so so we come up with these expansion tanks those were made and where they go in the system is right before your water here see your little diagram here so your incoming line is going to hit your water meter um, and then there's sometimes not all the times these days um, in the older homes you would have a uh, a PRV, a pressure reducing valve, that would regulate if you're too high a pressure, they would knock it down to a certain certain level. And then uh, your expansion tank would be, like I said, right before the water heater. Um, let's see there. I went over sizing. And for the novice or our plumber professional Watts has a pretty cool sizing tool um, so if you didn't have this little little chart like I had right here you can go to their website tools.watts.com uh, and find their sizing tool so there you see a uh, water heater uh, you put in how many gallons your street pressure like I mentioned before what your tank is preset at and for example I can look on the box Oh, they usually stamp it. They don't see it on there. 45 pounds. So this one's set at 45 pounds. Uh, let's see. There's your temperature and where you want to end up for temperature. Hit calculate and boom, there you go. Let's put that in just for chagrins. Supply pressure. Let's make it a 55 pound system. We're set at 45 pounds. Um, your TMP on your house. It's going to be 150 pounds. Uh, let's see. We'll go over TMPs on a different video. Uh, initial to start, we'll leave that at 90 and 140. And boom. Your input. Verify your input. Where? Okay, there. It said I didn't have enough information, but I did. So there, off the size is there's my PLT5. That's Watts's model number. All right. So let's go over here. Some of the tools you'll need for checking your pressure in your system. There is a um, water test gauge, uh, water pressure test gauge. Now you can get these at any um, hardware store plumbing supply for sure and all this does is it screws onto your water heater um, down where your little drain valve is maintenance okay that will be a different video but yes you're actually supposed to drain the water water heater from time to time to get some of that crap out of there <laughs> anyway so you screw the, the gauge onto this drain valve it's a garden hose thread to match the threads on the um, drain valve. Hose bib is what I would probably call it. Uh, screw that on, open up the valve, and then you'll see the pressure. Um, that is the pressure for your system. Boom. There you know exactly what your pressure is. Alright, let's see. And... I wouldn't mess. There's certain criteria as far as changing the, like I said, it's got a Schrader valve on the expansion tank. There are certain criteria you got to do, opening certain valves, closing other valves, to uh, then go check and see what that pressure is. Don't go doing that just yet. Uh, get um, Learn which, which valves need to be open and closed. I don't want to go over that right now. But... Uh, you can then check and see what the expansion tank is, is there for, uh, what the expansion tank is set at, and then determine whether you need to go up or down. Now, it, these expansion can, tanks can wear out. Um, now, what you can do is 
you can kind of tap on the side and if it's tinny sound then you've got air in there and that's air is supposed to be in there it's supposed to be almost like a half half mix of water and air you know the water is coming from your system um, if if it's all thud then and there's your system is not working correctly then it's got too much water in it um, so you may need to replace it and like I said they do wear out um, that's a that's a piece of rubber that's in there and it's constantly moving back and forth um, to regulate the pressure in your system let's see I've gone over the history um, how they came to be I went over a test gauge um, troubleshooting let's see I went over the thud there's one installed there's some of the, the the things you need to do to to test your system like I said I don't want to go over that just now um, and like I said you you can you know it's got to be sized a certain way also you could have a tank that's you know if you've got a um, 75 gallon water heater and um, depending like again on your street pressure this this tank could be too small and um, let's say the plumber didn't do you a favor and maybe installed something that was right off his truck instead of actually upsizing you to the correct expansion tank this could be some of the little problems you're having and, and maybe that's why you look for this video uh, let's see and you can see see there somebody is is airing up an expansion tank getting you know dialing in just, you don't just pump it full of air there you got to dial in a certain way um, man that's it that's all I got that's all I can think of for a minute all right as I always say now go be awesome hit the like and subscribe button I'll be back